So what's the last thing you do before you go to sleep at night? For many of us, it's putting our phone on charge, putting it by the bed. I'm Jamie Tucker coming up, why this may not be a good idea. And this is one of those things that a lot of people can't agree on, but if you put your phone on charge, leave it on charge overnight, it could shorten your battery's lifespan. And here's why. Most batteries lifespan is measured in charging cycles. Apple says its iPhone batteries have about 500 cycles before you notice a big difference. Not how many times you charge it, but if you charge it when it hits 50%, that's half a charge. The next time will make a full charge. That's true for other phones because they all use the same battery technology. Overnight, a phone stops charging when it hits 100%. It'll drop to 99% at some point and then charge again to 100. This is called a battery trickle. Over time, theoretically, it'll make up for a few full charging cycles. iPhones have a feature to prevent battery trickle by learning when you go to sleep and when you wake up. You can see this in this graph. My phone charged to 80% about an hour after I put it on charge at bedtime. And then between 4 and 5 in the morning, just before I wake up, it finished the charge to 100%. Now, you should check to make sure this is turned on in your battery settings. Now, Android phones do not have this feature. You can turn on battery optimization, which closes programs you're not using to save battery iPads don't have the feature either, so battery trickle affects those devices. Best practice, charge your phone to 100% before you go to bed, then take it off charge. Wait till in the morning. But the fact is, if you replace a phone every couple of years, charge it however you like. You probably won't notice a big difference before you buy a new phone. That's What the Tech. I'm Jamie Tucker.